There are different levels to becoming a Power BI developer. Level one is the one table wonder, where you get perfect data from a database or Excel workbook. You import that into Power BI and you visualize your data with some charts using drag and drop, implicit measures, quick measures for your calculations, but then figure this is not enough. You get more data and your data is also not always clean. So you move on to level two, where you start to, well, shape your data. You start to explore in Power Query what transformations are there. And then you use that to build your clean tables that you load to your model where you've built your first star schema. And you move away from the out of date and time feature. And on the visual side, there you start to understand what bookmarks are and how to make use of more advanced visualization options like arrow bars and conditional formatting. And for the calculations, you start to use DAX and build explicit measures and start to explore functions that are commonly used like calculate, sum x, average x, all of the iterative functions. And then you move on to level three. Because at some point you figure, ah, all of these transformations, hmm, here in Power Query, they are, they are not enough. I need to do something more or different. I need more flexibility. And that's where you dive into the M language. You build your own custom functions to get to your clean tables. And also for the DAX patterns, there it becomes more complex. You are able to handle more advanced time intelligence calculations. And when it comes to the model, there you start to think about optimization. What columns do I really need? Which ones take the most space? How can I reduce the size of my model by well, reducing cardinality? Do I need bidirectional filtering there? Do I need these many-to-many -many relationships, right? So you start to understand how to optimize your model. And then on the visualization side, there you can basically turn any native visual into the visual that you have in mind. All right, and then you move on to the last level, level four, and there you start to build enterprise great reporting solutions using Power BI. Security becomes a bigger deal and also how you structure everything, the versioning of everything, who has access to what, incremental refreshes, data flows, data pipelines, etc. And you start to understand how it also fits into the bigger data picture. Maybe you're using Fabric or Databricks, how it interconnects with all of the different data components and data governance, etc. Now, these are the four levels of becoming a Power BI master.